Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MariaDB latest version that is 11.3 or 11 on Ubuntu 22.04 LDS version. Then we will see how to connect to MariaDB. First, verify whether MariaDB, any default MariaDB version is installed on Ubuntu. sudo systemctl status MariaDB. See, there is no service with MariaDB. Okay. Now, open Firefox, go to mariadb.org, hit enter, click on download, click on ok, select mariadb server repositories, then select the distribution, so select Ubuntu version, if you are on 23, select 23. I am on 22.04, select it, then select the MariaDB version. See, the latest version at the time of making this video is 11.3. You can select any one of them, okay. Click on it and we have to run these commands one by one. Copy the first one. I will keep this link in the video description, okay. Copy one by one. Go to terminal. Paste it. Hit enter. is done now next make directory okay. it is going to create directory paste it control l paste it it is done now it is going to copy this one. copy signing key copy. copy it copy paste it hit enter it is also done next see you once key is imported, copy and paste file into this directory. So, so copy all these into this file. So, sudo vi paste it. Hit enter. I2 insert mode. Then copy all this text. Right click, copy, paste it. Save the file. That's all. Okay. Now we have to run the sudo apt get update. It is success. Control L to clear screen. Now install MariaDB server by copying this command. We can type manually also. Hit enter. Type it for confirmation and hit enter. See, it is installing 11.3. Okay. We have successfully installed MariaDB latest version on Ubuntu 22.04. Let us verify. Control L to clear screen. sudo systemctl status MariaDB. See, MariaDB service is running. Before, we don't have the MariaDB server. MariaDB service. Also, see here, service is enabled. Okay. You to quit. Now, we will see how to connect to MariaDB. Now connect to MariaDB, sudo MariaDB and hit enter. See, we have successfully connected. Now verify the list of the databases. See, these are the list of the databases or schemas comes with MariaDB installation. Let us verify the version of the MariaDB that we have installed. So select version, put semicolon. See, we have installed MariaDB 11.3. After installation, we have to set the password for root user that is alter user root identified by provide the password okay we have to give like in quotations at the rate again quotation local cost then hit enter 
we have successfully set the password exit then mariadb control n mariadb hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the new password see we have successfully connected let us create a database in this mariadb command is create database r2 schools we have successfully created verify so databases see new database is there okay now switch to r2 schools see here it is showing none means no database selected r2 schools see now we have the r2 schools database suppose if you want to create a table in this database create table let me clear the screen control a create table student s name int s name var gap put semicolon successfully created if the tables in this database so tables see we have one table also verify the data in this table fill through zero records because it's a it is new table see empty set let us insert some data into this table insert into student values this type of we have to give the same quotations hit enter and insert one more row Control L, verify data. Select star from student. See, we have the two rows. If we want to see the list of the users, select use user from MySQL dot user. See, we have the these users. Let us create a user. Control L, create user James identified by password. We have to give the password here. I am giving. Always give the strong password. See, we have successfully created. Again, if the user is created, or see, user is there. Okay. Now exit and try to connect to this MariaDB with the new user. To exit from MariaDB, you have to use the exit. So Control L, MariaDB hyphen new new username hyphen p. then see i have connected but you are but we are unable to switch to after school because i haven't granted the permission see in the upcoming videos i will show you how to grant privileges to user okay also verify the current user current underscore user see i am i have connected with this james user okay even we are unable to create table or database create database james db see we don't have the permission okay exit now we will see how to stop start and restart the mariadb service on ubuntu sudo systemctl stop mariadb now try to connect to mariadb see we are unable to connect because mariadb server is stopped let us start it just replace the stop with start and hit enter now try to connect mariadb see we will be able to connect okay exit verify the status replace the stop with status see we have successfully restarted 15 seconds ago q to quit control l to clear screen If you want to restart the MariaDB service, sudo systemctl restart MariaDB. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to install and configure MariaDB 11 version on Ubuntu 22.04. But the process is same for all Ubuntu versions and MariaDB versions. For more MySQL, MariaDB, or 
Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.